Okay, time to make a little noise. I will be cranking up the Harbor Freight Dust Collector, uh, running it directly to the planer. I'm not going to be running it through my dust deputy because, yeah, hoses don't quite line up right. I've still got to get all that stuff lined up. So, for now, we will be attempting to suck everything directly into there. So, it's going to be a little bit of noisy between this and that running. And we are going to see if we can get these planks planed down to look a little bit better than what we have. So let me give you an idea of what they look like and sort of do a before and after. Like I said, debating over whether we're gonna leave these or not. Uh, this is pretty rough. Very, in fact, you can just feel the splinters on this side. There's a lot of cracking in here. Uh, gonna be leaving that. You can see the stain. So we're gonna be tempting, attempting to plane off a layer of nasty and ugly. I'm going to be using the fine setting and see how smooth we can get the flat surfaces and then see what needs to be jointed and etc to try to or cut off and just where we're going to go from there so let's see what we can do i can hear the angry typing already that's not how a planer works. That's not what a planer's for. You're right. I'm cheating. I could have sat here and sanded or went out and bought a hand plane and cleaned it up. I got a freaking planer sitting there. My theory is always the right tool for the job is the one you got. Okay, you know I said that this was a very dense wood. I want to give you a little bit of an idea of how much this stuff actually weighs. So, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I am going to attempt to weigh these boards. Let's see, how, let's see what happens. point four pounds of oak mantle okay so normally when you're using a plane planer the whole concept is you set it to a certain height, you run your wood through it, and at the end, your wood is the thickness you need. As I said earlier, I'm sort of cheating. I wanted to take this rough stained wood and just kind of smooth it down a little bit and get the stain off. So basically what I'm doing here is lowering the planer a little bit each time until it barely makes contact and running it through until all the stain is gone from the one side. Then I basically turn it over, run the other side through so that both sides are smooth, both sides are flat. It, you know, it may not be perfectly the right sizes, this, that, and the other, but it basically was just to get the wood down to a clean and smooth state. So that's basically all I'm doing here is just running it through, dropping the planer a little bit each time until we get it to a smooth, flat, stain-free state.
remember when I looked at that one board and said, was that a broken off nail? Don't know if you can see it, but in just the right light, there is a broken off nail still in there. Thank God I caught that before it went through. <laughs> All right, we're gonna back up and punt on this board a little bit. Okay, you remember I said that I was not gonna throw these out. And if you remember right, when I pulled this piece of wood off, I made the comment, oh crap, is there a nail still in there? There's one broken off. At the time, I didn't see it. But after this one looked like it was that, I came over here and looked at where that broken nail is and pretty much it lines up perfectly to where this so this piece of wood was there and that is the broken off nail so keeping this was sort of I mean I'm just second you know verifying myself but by having this I was able to verify that yes that right there is the broken nail so this told me, yes, there's a broken nail still in there somewhere, and this helps to verify that we found where that's at. So now, if I can get that nail out, then we should be golden going forward. I don't think there was any other ones, but I hope not, because everything's gone through. At this point, if there is one, I've chewed my blades up. <laughs> this is the smallest drill bit I have. Let's see if I've got some kind of a... <sighs> okay, so the video that got lost, basically after using the small drill bit, I used a little bit bigger drill bit to put some holes beside it. And after that, I was able to get a pair of vice grips in there and the nail pulled right out. So that's basically what you missed. Uh, apologies on the GoPro fail. splinters and roughness out so that it was easier to see the grain of what I've got and to see the pieces that I've got to help figure out how to go in the next step of the project. So yes, did I wind up dulling the crap out of my blades, running a crap ton of hardwood through it? Probably. Um, but hey, I got an extra set that came with it. So I'm not really concerned about that. I mean, it's a tool. I used it. It got me what I needed. So before you start putting that down in the comments, yeah, I understand that's not the right tool to use, but it got me where I wanted to be. And like I said, the right tool is the one you got. So now we have an idea of what we got. And yes, I understand that the way I was doing that, these pieces are not the same thickness. This is certainly not a final thing. Um, I think these boards are rather thick for a box. This will be an industrial box. Now, I don't know how much I want to take out. I may not take much out. I may leave these about this thickness and start, you know, going to that next phase. I'm not really sure yet. Like I said, I'm kind of winging it. And the project is changing as I go along. So, that being said, Here's where we are. We got all the pieces looking better. Now to start planning out exactly what we want to do. So stay tuned for the next episode. I was trying to get a picture of your hands, but 
They're kind of like old man hands. You, you do realize you're married to an old man, right? Really? <laughs> you're only four years older than me. Wait a minute. I'm sensing a disturbance in the husband force. This sounds like a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> it's a it's a trap! <laughs> Okay. I'm going to stop disturbing you and stop taking pictures. So I can pictures. get back to working. So like, you've been wanting me to do this project for how long? And know. as soon as I start doing it, you interrupt me. <laughs> can I get back to doing my thing now? You can. Okay. Bye 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 now! Bye bye <laughs> Okay, now that the wife has gone and has left me alone, this I think she's beckoning me again. What? Oh. Upstairs with all that. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's the sound of glory.